Hello everyone again this is Frank DeMore with The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth and if you'd like to get my documentary on Bible prophecy and current events uh, the book for free just go to my website which is www.bibleprophecyman.com and if you look below you'll see the uh, the website right there for you so if uh, you can't remember it just freeze the frame here at the video and go to my website uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit uh, about some uh, news from Israel in relation to the celebration that's coming up this May 14th, which is obviously next week. And it has to do with the, the birth of Israel and how they're celebrating the birth of Israel. And obviously the reason why I'm giving you this information is because it is fulfillment of prophecy, the birth of Israel. First, if you don't know anything about Bible prophecy at all, just know this, that God has given us information ahead of time so that when we see these things that he warned about come to pass, you will know and you can trust that he is God because nobody else can do this, give events of the future before they ever happen. Now in Isaiah chapter 35, I love this one, 35 verse 1 it says this and the wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them and their desert shall rejoice and blossom as a rose now when you study the book of Isaiah you'll find out this particular prophecy is a prophecy about Israel when they're back in the land again in the last days which they are that happened on May 14th of 1948 when Israel uh, became a nation again for the second time which is fulfillment of Bible prophecy and this is the date again that they're going to be celebrating May 14th of uh, 2011 it's going to be 63 years old the state which is very very young obviously so the scripture tells us that when Israel goes back into the land and we know when Israel went back into the land it was a desolate area there wasn't anything there there wasn't any trees it was barren land but God showed us that when the, the Jews went back into Israel they were going to make the land blossom the desert blossom which is you know in many countries that's unheard of so this is what the Lord tells us now when you go to my book and uh, read the chapter about the blessings of Israel you'll see all the pictures and you'll see how they actually fulfilled this prophecy that was given to us from Isaiah 35 1 but let me give you some information today that some news that came out from uh, the president of uh, Israel Sharon Perez and I'm gonna connect a few things to so that you understand why I get excited when they talk about this the, uh, and before I do this, let me give you another prophecy. This is from Jesus Christ. Now we're moving into the New Testament. Isaiah was in the Old Testament. We're going into the New Testament now, where Jesus warns about the budding of the fig tree, which is the nation Israel. And uh, the Lord says this in Matthew 24, verses 32 through 34. Now learn the parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, you know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when you shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. So he's showing us that the, the fig tree is the nation Israel. The nation Israel was going to come back in the last days into the land that they were dragged away from. Now, obviously those prophecies have already been fulfilled. It shows us that we are in the last days. Israel's a nation again. The Jews who were dispersed all over the world came back. They're in Israel right now. And uh, they're gonna be celebrating their 63rd anniversary, which is very, very young as a nation. So they're still budding, they're still growing. So when you read the scriptures of what Jesus said about the fig tree and is putting uh, the branches, the branches yet tender, obviously Israel is in relation to, if you want to have a symbolic uh, terminology, Israel is a budding nation. They're very, very young and they're still budding, putting forth the bud. So 
everything that the Lord warned about is actually happening right now. So let me read you now what Sharon Perez. Now, if you go to my website, you'll be able to click to the link and read the whole article. It says, President Sharon Perez congratulated Israel on his 63rd birthday during Tuesday's Independence Day celebration at the President's residence in Jerusalem, stressing that Israel has come a long way since its establishment, and they sure have. Now, this is the good part. It says, we proved we can create a budding garden out of a uh, obstinate ground and let me just elaborate a little bit on this the obstinate ground was that desert that wasn't anything there and Israel uh, proved that they can bud the land turn the land into as just as Isaiah said in Isaiah 31 or 35 1 to bud like a, a rose. The, the desert would blossom like a rose. And so what Perez, President uh, Shimon Perez just said is the actual uh, truth that they did what Isaiah said that they were going to do in the future. And if you, I just came back from Israel not long ago. I was in the desert. I saw how many flowers and the trees and the fruits and just the blessings that God has bestowed on this land of Israel since Israel became a nation again. And so as we move towards this celebration of the Israel 60th, uh, 63rd year, uh, the prophecies have already been fulfilled. Israel has already planted millions and millions of trees. We see that in the scriptures. They've turned the desert into green. As a matter of fact, you could do a Google search if you think that uh, what I'm saying is not the truth. Do a Google search of satellite uh, image of the land of Israel. And when you see a satellite image, you will see that the only area in the Middle East that is actually green is the nation Israel. Every All the nations around it, you'll see a brownish color. And just from space, you can see that God has fulfilled what he said through the prophets. Now, as far as the, uh, the last portions of the scripture that Jesus Christ gave us, he said, Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till we see all these things. And he tells us it's near even at the doors when you see all of these things. So Israel's back in the land. Israel's uh, turned the desert blossom like a rose. That's fulfilled. Uh, Israel's uh, inherited Jerusalem again, which Jesus told us in the last days uh, when the fullness of the Gentiles come in, they're going to receive Jerusalem. So Jerusalem, during the 1967 war, went back uh, in the hands of the Jews. All of these things are happening in one single generation, and it just happens to be the generation who saw the rebirth of Israel. So we know that by all of these signs, and there's much more, and that's what the book's all about. My book is all about, it gives you all these facts. And once you see all of these facts, you'll understand how very, very close we are to seeing Jesus Christ coming back. So we see all of these things, and all I can ask you now is that you please give God a chance. And if you haven't studied prophecy and you don't know anything about the Bible and what to expect in these coming days, uh, then you're not ready for the Lord's second coming or the Lord's going to, first of all, take the church out of the way. Now, we do know because of the celebration that's coming up, many of the nations around Israel who hate Israel may try to do something to Israel around the celebration day, which is May uh, 14th. And obviously there's been much talk about the nations bordering Israel, the Arab nations, marching on Israel on May 15th of 2011, which is the day after their celebration. And they want to march on Israel um, to do the same thing that they did in Tunisia, in Egypt, and uh, these other countries like what's happening in Syria right now, trying to oust the leaders of the government. And uh, if that happens, if these Arabs do come down and uh, try to force Israel 
doing the same thing that they're doing to these other nations, there could be a backlash that could end up fulfilling the Psalm 83 war. And that's one of the things that we're watching for. And if you don't know anything about Psalm 83, the Psalm 83 war, just Google Frank DeMora and put Psalm 83 war and there you'll see tons of information that will come up explaining about that. Or you can just go to my website, download the book, and there's a chapter there about the attack on Israel and it talks about the Ezekiel war that hasn't been fulfilled and also the Psalms war. So. And all in all, the bottom line is this. All prophecy is, is taking place right now. Uh, we're very, very uh, encouraged because we know that our time is short here. And if you haven't received Jesus as your Savior, now is the time to do it. Now is the time to do it. The acceptable day of salvation has come to you today. And you need to uh, come to grips with Jesus is the Messiah, and he is going to fulfill every one of those words that he said to us. And he told us, when you shall see all these things, look up, your redemption draws nigh. And you better be looking up, because he is coming soon. God bless.